Wow, look at this room. So many memories. Finally back in, yeah, you remember that. That was hilarious. Yeah, Joe Bun's a savage. But that's besides the point. Mm -hmm. This morning, Ashanti. You know, she has that hardcore personality. Cause she's, you know, I mean, if you so dealt with Irv before, you know that she can handle Joe Budden. But. She's got the J-Lo factor where like, it almost feels like she doesn't age. Mm-hmm. Right? That's yeah, crazy. she's like 37. What? Ashanti, yeah, she's 37. But how did the episode go? I know it's it currently great. live right now, I believe. It's live right now. Um, oh my god. I didn't expect it to be such a great episode. We started off with Grammys and talking about that and okay. our predictions and, you know, um, politics. Because she won a Grammy before, so she spoke about that. Mm -hmm. When we talked about, uh, you know, the stripper talk. Um, oh yeah, throwing the money in the, <laughs> in the air. So she, you know, so she came guns blazing, uh, confronted academics, confronted Joe. How has the beginning of the show till now... How has the dynamics changed and like how are you dealing with it? We're actually going to do some end of year content because behind the scenes we've been through hell and back mm -hmm. um, from crazy moments uh, traveling together and and just uh, even internally we've been through everything and I mean I think now we are stronger than ever as a team. Hey Beja. One box messengered over by Nike for you. HQ. It's for you. Let's no. get an unboxing going, shall so we? So why, if it's not for me, why am I? Because <sighs> the flex god oh. gotta come through. Oh my god. Whoa, what is going on here oh. now? What is this? Hold on now. Wow. Now these. Let me see. Are, some Are these Kyrie Irvins? Let me see. Hold on now. Oh man. Oh, those I don't are think really, you're ready. Those are really nice. They ain't these never must seen be these samples. before. They don't, they don't even come in a box. Oh, there's more. I think these two are samples. You're a sample. That didn't make sense yeah, at all. They, yeah. But these though, what the? Beja, what does that say right there? What the Kyrie? Ooh, Ooh my vision. Um, style-wise, I mean, the silhouette of this shoe, well, this black one, hold on now. Hold I don't know. Now. Uh, you could really do something with this. I feel like that, style-wise, the, with the Kyrie's, mm -hmm. it's a very loud shoe. For sure. So that obviously needs to be the contrast in your outfit. Uh -huh. So something very minimal, subtle, like all black, or So, like, even if, if I you took off the top threes, throw these on, you know, grown man up top. Fun, I, I, would, I wouldn't do that. I think that's a little bit too much. Okay. I personally don't like seeing people wear basketball shoes with jeans. It's one of my pet peeves. You could wear like a pair of ones or fours. Like it depends. But like I hate when I see, you know, those AAU people who wear like hyper dunks with jeans. Like that's really one of, <laughs> that's really one I know of what she's my. About. I really. She's got a point. Beja, are these worth some cinematics? Yeah. What kind of question was that? Zoe, are you pretending to work? No, I'm, uh, I'm really working. Oh, this is a wide angle, so there was no keyboard. <laughs> okay. Zoe, it's a special lunchtime segment today. True. Uh, it's going to be happy hour lunch. Let's go, bud, like that. Let's go, bud, like that. All right, I'm here with Dave Matthews, Ed Sheeran, and Dan. And Dan. <laughs> and Dan. <laughs> 
Thursday night football game is going to be Washington versus Dallas. Dave, who do you have? The prediction is Dallas 28, DC 17. Okay. Both of these teams are not making the playoffs. Yeah, Give both of these teams are not making the playoffs. They're Pause. playing for pride. I'm just going to go with the home team. Um, Dan, that's about it. Take on this one Dan, or? nah, dude, I clocked out on this season a long time ago. I'm a New York fan. Big blue, not that ugly green color. And, uh, <laughs> okay. All right. And um, but I'm gonna go with the home team. That's you know. Okay, so you guys are unanimous on Dallas winning this week. Word. Which is the better city to live in, Washington or Dallas? Can Can I jump in, guys? As someone who's Please. born in the Dallas and bi area, and biased, but I would ahead. like to front on my home city and say DC. Because here's the thing: DC has some good nightlife, good music, um, a lot of history. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's the White House, <laughs> right? There, yeah, there's a thing there's called the White there. House. I don't know if you heard of it. Not that I'd be visiting. Right, not lately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not visiting over the Let's night. Let's not get yeah. the better food. Dallas. Barbecue. Barbecue. Okay. You know, though. DC also has Ben's Chili Bowl. Shout out to Not uh, up on to it, no. yeah. I haven't tried Mumbo Soft before, so I feel like I can't judge DC's food scene until I have that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we've got carrots, guys. We do. Mm. I don't know if we you have some wings. This. We have yeah, some wings. We have some, some Bud Light. Dog, how do you eat wings, man? I'm lazy. This is a travesty. That's a lazy man's way to eat wings. And I'm back. Fresh with uh, some info from Nike. Every three sneaker releases Kyrie has, he will come out with a series hybrid. The first is the S1 hybrid. It's a combination of shoes one through three. And then the next shoe will be the S2, which would be a combination of four, five, six. So there you have it. I'm gonna need Tony to come a little bit more prepared and not read off of the phone next time. <sighs> He's like, girl, your whole life is scripted. Shut up. <laughs> The sun goes down super early. I know. It gets me very seasonally depressed. Yeah. Yeah. Any any pro tips for Christmas shopping? Um, well, if you're like me and you're balling on a budget this year, um always balling <laughs> on a budget. It's the same every year actually. Um I am trying not to focus on kind of like what I think people would want and spending the most money on it, but rather thinking of like getting something that they care about, not necessarily think something that you think they would want, if that makes sense. So whether that would be just giving them a little bit of money to donate to their favorite charity or just like gift card to their favorite coffee place, you know, something small that doesn't take you out of budget. That's something that they would want in the future that they wouldn't think about necessarily as a Christmas gift. I tell you the best Christmas gift, straight cash. Yeah, I mean, that's that's nice too. Also, Mags, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I will see you on the next episode. Mags, hit them with the deuces, close it out. Deuces!